it was so stupid of me to start this game when when I when I began playing it cuz I have so many games and I rarely have time for it. It's a shame. It really is. And then I'm letting all you guys down who are actually keeping up with this game. I'm so sorry, okay? I really am. Yes. I'm happy now. I'm pretty sure. Then that's all that matters. Slowly, aimlessly, we move forward. Footprints following us in the snow. There's something inescapably nostalgic about early winter sunsets. All of those days when the sun sets before six and it feels like late evening when you're coming home from school. It's a little bit wistful. How far do you live, by the way? Oh, you know, not too far. Here and there. I should have expected an answer like that from you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Don't tell me we're back to square one after. Why do I read like this, man? <laughs> Don't tell me we're back to square one after everything we've talked about. Well, I can't be too open, can I? That would ruin the surprise. I wonder what goes through this girl's mind. Anyway, there's one thing you forgot to calculate this time. Her expression freezes. At last, a weak point. <clears throat> this time... Are you going to finish the sentence or not? Sorry, I just wanted to see how long the sus suspense... Suspense! God damn it! The suspense could last. I think you pushed it a bit too far. Oh, sorry. Anyway, as I was trying to say, I was only asking you where you live to make sure you could stay out this late. Oh, uh, wait, you're worried about me? Sure I'm worried about you. Worried is the wrong word. I'm just concerned. That's... Isn't that the same? Worried? Concerned? Th yeah. <laughs> every time I... I... Yeah, it, this happens every time, man. That's the same thing. Regardless, you might live outside the city for all I know. I wouldn't want you to go home too late. It's getting dark, but it's still early. I'll be fine. Yeah, but, well, you live close enough to get home by yourself, right? I do. Don't worry. Like she said, here and there. Either she's really rich, which it kind of looks like based on her outfit, and she just lives in whatever hotel, or she's not even a person, so she just... She's an angel, maybe. Are you an angel? Although, she just mumbled something. I hate when people do that. I do that too. I really do that. <laughs> I said, you said? I said I wouldn't mind if you walked me home anyway. Oh. Uh, well, but it's still early, isn't it? There's no need to think about going home yet. Don't get all serious now. You started it. Mouse. Either she's doing this on purpose, or she's just as nervous as me. 
Ah, oh, you, you'd like to think the last one, right? That'd be kind of cute if she's just as nervous as you. But she's probably just doing it on purpose, man. My money is on the former. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on, let's go. You walk too slowly. Walk. Alright, alright, I'm coming. How long have we been wandering these streets like this? Hmm. Maybe a couple of hours? As she said that out loud. Did it sound at least slightly ridiculous to you? Not really. Should it have? Yes, of course it should have. Don't our aimlessness buck you even a little? As long as you're having fun, right? I suppose. Well, you know what? Stupid mouse. As long as we're together, it's all good. It doesn't matter what we do, because we're together. I'm saying that as Mark, by the way. It's not me. I'm just playing a game. I'm not that creepy. <laughs> Still, we should probably think of somewhere to go. My feet are killing me. Well, then maybe you shouldn't go somewhere. Maybe you should sit somewhere. You need to improve your stamina. Huh? You mean you're not tired yet? No, not really. Stupid mouse. But you hardly seem physically fit. Really? Do I come across as a playful, innocent girl with a psychological scar somewhere in her past? Yes. Yes, you do. Or something like that. <laughs> Trying to... Yeah. No, why did I click? Idiot. Uh, uh, stupid mouse, I hope you read it, because I just clicked like an idiot. I don't think I can click back. Nope. I can't imagine you running laps, but anything's possible. I get that reaction a lot. We had a sports day at school once, and everyone thought I wouldn't be able to do a thing for the class. And I'm guessing I know what happened next. I won first place in the 200 meters. Well, that's just 200 meters. That's not that far. That just means you're fast. Not necessarily, you know, yeah. Because I, my stamina is not the best, but I'm really fast. So I might be able to win the 200 meters, but I wouldn't be able to run for a long time. That's there's a there's a huge difference there. Anyway, ah, so you're intelligent, sophisticated, and athletic. Don't forget real reliable and organized. Great. Hey hey hey. Don't worry though. I couldn't do housework to save my life. I... Oh. I couldn't do housework to save my life, and I always spill the crumbs when I'm eating cookies. So I'm not perfect either. You... <laughs> you spill the crumbs? Ah. That's cute. I don't care, that's cute. How comforting. I swear, this girl. One of these days, you've got to cure that daydreaming habit. No, easier said than done. Why do I? It's a good thing to daydream, man. Come on. It can be that bad. Just try focusing more. It can't be that bad. Just try focusing more. Just like I have to. I have to read properly. I can't. Exactly. My brain is always working. Exactly. 
I like a lap. It's like a laptop without a power button. No, I did. I only clicked once. That's not fair. Why did you do that? Uh, that's two texts right now that I skipped, and the second one wasn't on purpose. And it can't. And it can't calculate two-digit products without a pencil and a paper. Most people can't. You're too easy. Hmm. <laughs> Is that how you say it? <laughs> well, at least I'm always thinking about something. Maybe I'm actually a genius and no one realizes it. This is kind of what I'm thinking too. I'm constantly thinking I'm just a genius. <laughs> a genius that's nearly failing second year math. F math. Math sucks. I used to be a math genius. But then high school began and I just lost all interest in it. It could happen. Geniuses don't have to be... I was about to say smart, but that wouldn't be very genius-like of me. Don't have to be academically successful to be intelligent. I could just be, I don't know, deep. Swear to God, I... It's really weird, but that word, deep, I used that for so long to kind of describe myself, because I, I I was looking for this word which doesn't really exist when I, when I had to explain my personality and the way I think. It was like it's it's I it's deep. That's all I could say was deep. And this person the the person or the persons who made this game really seem like they're the same as me. It's so weird. That's probably why I like this game so much. I'd hate to admit it, but you might be right. Still, you have to learn to control your mind. A powerful brain is being wasted on a person like you. Well, same thing goes with me. Why, why do I not meet her? Why is it gotta be a game? Just remember, this is the brain that decides to sacrifice a valuable half day of school. Most likely missing a test or two to waste the evening with a girl it hardly knows. I never said an unsophisticated brain couldn't be a nice one. Compliment number two. She still isn't very good at this. Okay. Now my feet are really hurting. Isn't that what we were originally talking about? It is, isn't it? The conversation was about to go on another tag in before I realized what she was doing. Come on. Even you must be tired by now. Just a little bit. Score. Score. See? So we should sit down somewhere. Somewhere warm. Well, if you're that tired, I know of a place we can go. I notice Mira limping slightly as she walks ahead. Either your leg is broken or you are as tired as me. Alright, fine. You win. That's what I thought. But I'm not cold yet, so we're staying outside. Sure, we can just huck. Sit close. Share warmth. It's all good. That's even better. Is this even... Is this even an official path? It's official enough. I didn't know official. Wow. I didn't know officialness worked on a spectrum. 
From a well shoveled and salted city sidewalk with stores and lounges and food on every corner, I somehow find myself climbing up a snow covered hill in the middle of nowhere. I can't even begin to fathom, 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 fa, fathom, fat, fathom, fathom, why I trusted Mira's idea of a nice place to relax. You know, this is probably dangerous. I used to go here all the time, in the past. It'll be fine. It's probably illegal as well. No worries. The police have better things to do than to patrol an old hill in the corner of the city. I have better things to do than to be climbing an old hill in the corner of a city. But I'm still doing it because I'm doing it with a really nice girl who I like a lot. Well, as long as we don't die, I guess I'm fine with it. We probably won't die. Either way, you're climbing below me, so I'll land on your... I'll land on you if we fall. There's a chopper downstairs. Yeah, downstairs there's a chopper, yes. Outside. It's making a lot of noise. And it's gone. In other words, you probably won't die. Precisely. Don't worry though, I'm light. I don't think I could kill you that easily. That isn't the problem here. Oh look, that's the top. And what exactly is so special about this place to begin with? You'll find out soon enough. Come on. Mira beckons me to climb faster. And despite my frozen toes and soaking wet socks, I follow. Ah.